Life can sometimes seem like an overwhelming challenge, causing us to question our direction. Have you ever felt swamped by your situation, wondering if things will ever improve? Do you yearn for a breakthrough but struggle to see how it could happen? Today, we'll explore how speaking blessings over our circumstances can transform our lives. We'll see how our words shape reality and align our hearts with God's promises. I'll show you the power of positive declarations and how they activate faith through speech. Stay tuned until the end for a powerful prayer in Jesus' name to receive blessings. Imagine tending a garden where every word you speak is a seed. Negative words act like weeds, stifling growth, but blessings are like vibrant, life-giving plants that bear fruit. Just as a gardener carefully chooses seeds, we must intentionally sow words into our lives. Proverbs 18 verse 21 teaches that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Our words can create or destroy, build up or tear down. Let's harness that power for good by speaking life and blessings over every area of our lives. Understanding the power of positive declarations is crucial. Words are not just sounds. They carry creative energy. When we speak, we shape our reality. This isn't a new concept, but a biblical truth dating back to creation. God spoke light into existence, Genesis 1 verse 3, demonstrating the power of words. As beings created in His image, we can speak things into existence in our own lives. Positive declarations align our thoughts with God's promises, like tuning a radio to the right frequency to receive His blessings. Positive declarations aren't about ignoring problems, but focusing on God's truth amid challenges. They acknowledge a higher reality, God's reality over temporary circumstances. Consider the Apostle Paul, who faced immense difficulties but maintained faith in God's promises. By declaring God's truth, we affirm His power and provision in our lives, despite obstacles. In Philippians 4 verse 13, Paul boldly stated, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Paul wasn't ignoring his challenges. He was affirming God's power to overcome them. This is the essence of speaking blessings over your situation, choosing faith over fear and hope over despair. When we make positive declarations, we train our minds to see beyond our current circumstances. It's like wearing spiritual glasses that let us see the world through God's perspective. Consistency is crucial. Speaking blessings isn't a one-time thing. It's a lifestyle. Just as you wouldn't expect a garden to thrive if you watered it once a month, your life won't transform with occasional positive words. Make it a daily practice to speak God's promises over your life. Start each day declaring His goodness, faithfulness, and love for you. When challenges arise, respond with declarations of faith. Jesus said in Mark 11, verse 23, Assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Notice, Jesus emphasizes both speaking and believing. It's not enough to say the words. We must believe them in our hearts. That's where many struggle, saying the right things, but still doubting deep down. Root your declarations in God's Word. When you speak Scripture, you're echoing God's eternal truth, not just your thoughts. There's real transformative power in this. Start speaking blessings over your health, finances, relationships, and future. Speak life into areas where you felt stagnation or death. Watch as God aligns your reality with His truth. Your words are seeds. Plant them wisely, water them with faith, and expect a harvest of blessings. Consider the story of the Roman centurion in Matthew 8. He understood the power of words when he told Jesus, Only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. He recognized Jesus' authority and power in his words. We serve the same Jesus today. His words still carry power. 
When we speak his words over our situations, we're invoking that same authority and partnering with heaven to bring change on earth. Speaking blessings isn't just about getting what we want. It's about aligning our hearts with God's will. As we consistently speak God's truth, our desires start to align with His, and our prayers shift from asking for things to seeking His will in our lives. And that, my friends, is where true transformation starts. Speaking blessings changes how we perceive others. When we regularly speak positively about our own lives, it becomes natural to do the same for those around us. Imagine the impact if we consistently spoke words of life and encouragement to our families, friends, and even strangers. Our words can literally change atmospheres. In Proverbs 16, verse 24, it says, Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Our words have the power to bring healing, joy, and restore hope to others. Let's not underestimate the power of our declarations. Every word we speak is like a brushstroke on the canvas of our lives. Let's paint a masterpiece with words of faith, hope, and love. Now that we understand the power of our words, let's explore how to align our hearts with God's promises. This alignment is crucial because our words reflect what's in our hearts. To speak blessings consistently, we need to cultivate a heart filled with faith and gratitude. Let's start with a fundamental truth. God's promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. In 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, it says, For all the promises of God in Him are yes, and in Him amen, to the glory of God through us. This means every promise God has made is available to us through Christ. But here's the catch. We need to believe these promises and make them personal. It's not enough to know God's promises intellectually. We must embrace them emotionally and spiritually. This process begins by immersing ourselves in God's Word. The Bible isn't just a book of rules. It's a love letter from God filled with promises for every part of our lives. When we read Scripture, we're not just gathering information. We're feeding our spirits. Take time each day to meditate on God's promises. Let them sink deep into your heart and make them your own. When you read Jeremiah 29, verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Don't just read it passively. Declare it over your life. Say, God has good plans for me. He wants to give me a future filled with hope. As you do this consistently, these truths will become part of your inner thoughts, influencing your decisions and transforming your words. Another key to aligning your heart with God's promises is cultivating an attitude of gratitude. Thankfulness attracts blessings like a magnet. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, Paul encourages us, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Notice, it says in everything, not for everything. We're not expected to be thankful for our problems, but we can be grateful in the midst of them because we trust that God is working all things together for our good. Maintaining an attitude of gratitude, even in tough times, declares our trust in God's faithfulness and affirms His goodness, even when it's not immediately visible. This is a powerful declaration indeed. It's easy to say blessings when things are going well. The real challenge is when we face difficulties. That's when we need to guard our hearts and minds most carefully. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 gives us a powerful strategy. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. When anxiety tries to take hold, we're encouraged to pray with thanksgiving. This isn't just about thinking positively. It's an act of faith. By focusing on God's faithfulness instead of our fears, we invite His peace to guard our hearts and minds. From that place of peace, we can speak words of faith and blessings. Remember, aligning your heart with God's promises takes time. 
Just like a seed grows into a tree, it takes patience for God's promises to take root in our hearts. If you find yourself speaking negatively, don't be hard on yourself. Instead, gently correct your words and replace negativity with declarations of faith. Over time, it will feel more natural to speak blessings. Another great way to align your heart with God's promises is through praise and worship. When we praise God, we're not just singing. We're declaring His character and promises. In Psalm 22, verse 3, it says God is present in the praises of His people. When we worship, we create a space for His presence, which shifts our perspective and makes our problems seem smaller. Finally, remember that aligning your heart with God's promises is not something you do alone. We need the support of other believers. Proverbs 27 verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Surround yourself with people who speak God's truth into your life, remind you of His promises, and celebrate with you when they come to pass. As you align your heart with God's promises, your words will naturally follow. You'll speak blessings out of deep faith in God's goodness, and that's where true transformation begins. Now, let's focus on the important aspect of speaking blessings over your situation and activating your faith through action. James 2 verse 26 reminds us that faith without works is dead. This means our faith must be shown through our actions. It's not enough to just say blessings. We must also act in ways that match our words. When we combine our declarations of faith with obedient actions, we create a powerful energy that can make a real difference. Let's look at some strong blessing statements and how to activate them through action. When we say, I am blessed with divine health and strength, we should also take care of our bodies by eating well and exercising. When we declare, God's favor surrounds me like a shield, we should confidently expect new opportunities to come our way. If we say, I am a channel of God's blessings to others, we must actively look for ways to serve and uplift those around us. When we proclaim, my family walks in harmony and love, we need to work on patience and forgiveness in our relationships. And as we affirm, God's wisdom guides every decision I make, we should regularly seek His guidance through prayer and studying the Bible. These statements aren't just empty wishes. They are powerful declarations of faith that should inspire us to take action. Consider the story of the four lepers in 2 Kings 7. Samaria was under siege and they faced certain death. Instead of giving up, they asked, why are we sitting here until we die? They didn't just talk about survival, they acted on it. They stepped out in faith, and God used their actions to bring deliverance to an entire city. This story shows that when we combine our faith declarations with bold actions, we open the door for God to intervene. Another important part of activating faith through action is persistence. In Luke 18, Jesus tells the story of the persistent widow. This woman kept going to an unfair judge, demanding justice. Eventually, the judge granted her request just because she wouldn't give up. Jesus uses this story to encourage us to keep praying and not lose heart. The same idea applies to our faith declarations and actions. We must keep going, even when we don't see immediate results. Keep saying, my breakthrough is coming, and act like it's already here. Don't give up, even if nothing seems to change. Remember, faith is about believing in what we hope for and trusting in what we can't see. Your ongoing faith-filled actions are building momentum that will eventually lead to breakthroughs. It's also important to know that activating faith through action often means stepping out of our comfort zones. God's blessings are often found outside what feels safe and familiar. When Peter wanted to walk on water, Jesus told him to step out of the boat. Peter had to take that leap of faith to experience the miracle. Similarly, we might need to take risks when acting on our faith declarations, like forgiving someone who hurt us or changing careers to follow God's calling. God honors those brave steps of faith. When we act in obedience, He responds with His power. 
Another key part of activating faith through action is serving others. When we bless others, we open ourselves up to receive blessings too. Acts 20 verse 35 reminds us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. As you speak blessings over your life, look for ways to bless others, whether it's praying for someone, offering encouragement, or helping with a practical need. By doing this, you're not just helping others, you're also creating a positive atmosphere in your own life. So my friends, are you ready to not just speak blessings, but to live them out? Are you prepared to support your declarations with bold actions with bold actions? If so, you're on the verge of experiencing God's power in new ways. Let's declare this together. I am blessed to be a blessing. God's favor goes before me, making the rough places smooth. His wisdom guides me every step. I walk in divine health and prosperity, and my life is a testament to God's goodness. Let's move forward and act on these declarations, expecting to see God's promises come alive in our lives. Now, to everyone listening, let's come before the Lord in prayer. Join me in this prayer so you can receive all the blessings it offers. Heavenly Father, Sovereign Lord, I come to you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. You are the author of life and the source of all blessings. I praise you for the gift of life and for showering me with your blessings. Father, I ask for your strength and guidance to lift me up continually. Help me to speak life and blessings into every situation I face. Thank you for your guiding word, your empowering spirit, and your sustaining love. I declare your promises over my life. Merciful Father, I come boldly before your throne of grace, seeking forgiveness for my sins and shortcomings. I repent for the times I have spoken words of doubt, fear, or negativity. Cleanse my heart and renew my spirit so that I may walk in your righteousness and grace. As you forgive me, I also forgive those who have wronged me. Lord, align my thoughts and words with your truth. Grant me the discipline to guard my tongue, speaking life and blessings rather than curses. Help me to understand the power of my words in shaping my reality. Give me the wisdom to declare your promises over every situation in my life. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every spirit of negativity and doubt that tries to corrupt my speech. I bind the powers of darkness that fill my mind with fear and negativity. I declare that my mouth will be a fountain of life, speaking forth your truth and blessings. Lord, I claim victory over every challenge in my life. Your favor surrounds me like a shield, opening doors that no one can close. Your wisdom guides every decision I make, leading me in paths of righteousness. In Jesus' name, I declare divine health flowing through my body, from head to toe. I affirm that your abundance overflows in my life, meeting every need according to your riches in glory. Amen. Amen. Father, I ask for your protection against every attack from the enemy. Shield me from spiritual warfare, physical harm, emotional distress, and mental turmoil. Guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, preserving my peace in the storms of life. Jehovah Rapha, I ask for your healing touch to restore my body, mind, and spirit, bringing wholeness and peace to every part of my being. Lord, I lift up my loved ones to you, praying that these same blessings would flow into their lives. May they also experience the power of positive declarations and faith-filled actions. Bless them with health, protect them from harm, and guide them in your perfect will. As we pray together, I am grateful for every heart that is open before you right now. We come in agreement, praying for each other, believing for breakthroughs in every area of our lives. Father, empower us to speak blessings over our situations. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that our words may be seasoned with grace and aligned with your will. We declare victory over every challenge, 
healing for every sickness and disease and protection from every attack. Thank you for the power of unity in prayer, and we claim your promises for our lives. Grant us the courage to act on our declarations of faith, stepping out in obedience to your leadership. May our lives be living testimonies of your goodness, power, and faithfulness. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member who needs the blessing of this prayer. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. For those listening who want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Say this salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Now that you've prayed this prayer, I encourage you to fellowship with other believers, learn more about your new life, and deepen your relationship with God. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comment section so we can lift them up to God for your blessings and victory. We invite believers worldwide to join us in praying for you. Even if you don't see a reply, rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God according to His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance according to God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.